Hey guys, how you going? Uh, my name is Dom and today I'd like to demonstrate how to create the effect of full page sections for your web pages. Um, so basically, we're going to create sections which take up the entire width and height of the visible browser window. Um, okay, so I've actually seen this on DuckDuckGo.com um, where if I was to actually scroll down here, we see we actually get a large green box which takes up the entire width and height of the browser visible area. So um, I can keep scrolling and we get a yellow section followed by a purple section. Alright, so um, in this video we're going to learn how to create this effect um, using some very basic HTML and CSS. Okay, so um, back inside um, my document here, um, inside the source code, um, we can begin by actually creating or defining one individual section. Okay, so inside the body, I'm just going to create a new section tag and give it a class of fwh slash slide. Okay, so um, this stands for um, full width and height and then slide. So um, one of these right here is going to be um, an individual large section. Okay, so um, this means I can put some content inside this section tag. Alright, so I'm just going to add a new paragraph tag inside here and give it some dummy text. Alright, so we have one section defined. If I was to save this and refresh my browser, we get this result right here. So we can see we have this text. Um, however, um, the body has a preset margin of 8px defined by the actual browser. So to achieve this effect, we need to remove um, the default body margin. Okay, so back inside the CSS, let's just add um, for the body tag a margin of zero. So now um, we have no more margin on the body. So I can save this and refresh and now um, the text is right up against um, the corners of the browser window. Okay, so now um, we can begin to add some styles for the FWH section class. Okay, so um, back inside the CSS, let's add a new set of rules for the class of FWH-slide. Okay, so um, the fundamental thing for this effect is setting the height of one of these slides. Now. We're going to make this height 100 VH. Okay, so this means VH um, uh, viewport height. So 100 um, viewport height means 100% of the visible viewport area. Okay, so um, that right there is basically um, the fundamental to this effect. Okay, so we can add a background of red, for example. Um, and quite importantly also, a box sizing of a border box. This ensures that um, any padding or borders on this slide won't result in an overflow. Okay, so I can save this and refresh the browser and now we get that right there. So we can see um, it's sort of coming together. Alright, so what we can do now is actually define a separate section um, that'll sit beneath this one with a different background color. Okay, so um, back inside the HTML, let's just copy this whole section right here and put a new one below that. Okay, we can replace this text with some more dummy text, a different style. Okay, and for the actual class, we're going to add a modifier um, to make the background um, uh, maybe like a blue color. Okay, so we're going to say um, space and then fwh dash slide and then dash dash um, bg dash blue. Okay, so now we added, we're adding a new class to this section um, that basically says we're going to have the background color as blue for this section. So I can copy this style, sorry, um, this class and head inside the style tag and add a new rule. We're going to say background of blue and a color of white. Okay, so now I can save this and refresh the browser and now we get two sections on top of each other. So um, we can see it's sort of working 
um, we actually get a white space between these two sections and that is caused by the margin on the paragraph tag. Okay, so um, let's just remove this margin right now. So I can, I can go back into the text editor and add a new style for um, the paragraph tag inside the um, slide. So I will say um, .fwh slide and target all paragraph tags inside there. And we can say a margin of zero. Okay, I can save this and refresh. And now um, it works as intended. So basically just like that one right there. So um, just for the sake of example, I'm gonna add some padding to each one of these sections. So back inside the CSS, let's just add some padding. So we'll say padding of 35px inside the FWH slide class. So I can save this and now refresh. This time um, it sits nicely in the center. So I can scroll down and we get that right there. Perfect. Um, so um, this actually works across multiple different um, browser sizes. So I can actually resize the window here and the result still stands. I can. I can scroll to like vertical, scroll down, and it still works. Um, I can try mobile, and once again, it still works. So um, the effect is really responsive, and um, I think it, um, it 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 works well for most websites if you're you know displaying um, simple data just like DuckDuckGo. All right, that is how you can create the effect of full page sections um, for your web pages. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.